Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a short video to show you guys how to get the perfect tracking delay. Uh, for those of you who are using Aximetry with a camera tracking system such as the HTC Vive Mars CamTrack, like the one I'm using here, uh, might sometimes have issue to get the perfect settings for the tracking delay. Now, there is a feature um, in Aximetry called Detect Tracking Delay, and that's what I'm gonna show you guys in this video. So, uh, as you guys can see here, I have a scene set up in Aximetry, I have a talent, I have a 3D set, and here you can see that my camera is genlocked by the G uh, icon here, and as you can see, the track is pretty good right uh, there's no drifting and whatnot everything is working very very smoothly and you can see here that my tracking delay is set to 5.2 so uh, how did i get this number is by using the detect tracking delay and i'm going to show you guys how to use it right now but first i just want to show you guys if i set my tracking delay back to zero and then you guys can see right away uh, maybe we can shoot the feet guys so, uh, okay, then you can see instantly that there is a problem and I can try just like setting it to get the perfect uh, number to get that perfect number, but it's not as easy as it seems. So let's try and use the detect tracking delay. Okay, so the first thing uh, I'm doing here is adding a object in the middle of my uh, green screen in the center of my frame. And uh, you can actually choose between uh, three different colors here, red, green, and blue. And I'm setting it to red here. And actually, I don't have a red object. So this is the closest uh, orange measuring tool that I have laying around. So I'm using this. And uh, I'm gonna switch this detect tracking delay to on. And as soon as I do that, I'm gonna lose the composition. I'm losing the 3D background and I have an X here on the object. And you can tell your cameraman now to start panning left and right. You can go a bit fast. And Aximetry is gonna try and detect how much delay is between your camera uh, and the uh, tracker. And as you can see here, as soon as it gets the number, tracking delay here is five now. And if you're wondering why now it's five instead of 5.2, that's because I actually uh, changed the uh, latency before uh, doing the detect tracking delay. And if some of you guys don't know what I'm talking about, if you go to uh, edit here and here in uh, preferences, you can actually uh, set the video input delay. So in to out latency here right now, it's set to tolerant and I had it on low below uh, because uh, I had a bit of issue. So I got this number now, tracking delay five, right? And now let's test it. Let's have a talent. Yo, Mr. Leffy, can you please go back on set into the apartment and we can test it out now. See if we have a good uh, track delay. Is it sticking? Move around. Yeah, okay, stay in one place and see the camera pointed to the feet. Okay, and shake a little bit. And everything is working pretty nicely. Right? It's sticking to the floor. And it's as simple as that. That is how you guys can get the perfect number for your tracking delay. I hope it was useful and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.